to WFMS, we're getting the news out to you. Hey, staff and students, who has it better than us? Nobody. That's right. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. It is January 27th, and we are making our way through the third quarter. We're about eight days to the midway point, and uh, teachers are inputting those grades. Students, hopefully you're working on those grades. You're getting into those grade books. Uh, a day students, you're asynchronous, and B day students, you're synchronous. And with your A day or B day, we're making sure we're going to our teacher's canvas page and checking in. And we're making sure we're going to that banner on the FMS website if we're asynchronous and clicking submit. More on that in a moment. We mentioned this yesterday. It is palindrome week. And palindrome is we have words and symbols that are the same forward and backwards. I wonder if any students could email me some palindromes. Don't look them up. Do you know some palindromes? Words that are spelled the same forwards and backwards. Moving on. Take a look at today's welcoming ritual. How would your closest friend describe you? What words would they use to describe you? Think about what words you would describe to use them. We've got a nice little graphic of Snoopy and all those good things we know about Snoopy. We got a nice quote there, true friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. And good friends are like stars, you don't always see them, but you know that they are always there. Yeah, so how would your closest friend describe you? They know you best, how would they describe you? Okay, there's that asynchronous banner. And we're gonna go to the attendance check-in. And then we're gonna click the submit button and make sure that we're checking in on those asynchronous days. A little birdie told me we had like 86 graders forget to do that on Monday. So we've got to do better. We've got to make sure we're checking in on that banner, checking in on the attendance check-in, clicking I am in attendance, and making sure we submit that blue button and make sure we're doing what we say we're doing, which is going to each of our teacher's Canvas page or Google Classrooms. All right. Important dates, we've got Groundhog's Day coming up on February 2nd. We've got the halfway mark for third quarter, February 5th. We've got progress reports due February 8th, February 14th, ooh, Valentine's Day, and February 15th, no school, it's a federal holiday. That is President's Day. Hey, we've been talking about this. Bring that Chromebook, get it charged up. Make sure you've got a good solid charge. Make sure it's plugged in at night and you're ready to go and ready to use it the next morning when you bring it to school. All right, take a look here. This is a huge and important school supply. Making sure you've got a pair of headphones or earbuds and making sure that you can put those in your pocket when you bring those to school. Good things to use in class and at home. All right, we've got a little information here. This is going to be how to use the Chromebook calculator. Number one, you're going to go to the launcher. That's in the bottom left-hand corner of your Chromebook screen. Number two, you're gonna type calculator in the search bar and select the icon that looks like a calculator. Number three, you're gonna click on the small box in the upper right corner of the calculator to expand and see all of those calculator tools. Number four, you're gonna select DEG from the top left corner of the light green section. And number five, to make a number negative, type the number, then type plus or minus, and key in the bottom left-hand corner of the dark green section. And that is a little bit how to use the calculator on a Chromebook. It's a good tip, a good handy tip. Attention all FMS students, we are reminding you, actually just started this a couple days ago, that we would like for you to please make sure you're carrying a novel, an independent reading book, if you will, to all of your classes. For students that are remote, we want you to make sure that you're aware of the Sora app, if you will, and we've got the uh, Sora app and website, web address down there below, soraapp.com backslash welcome. And we want students to really take advantage of those moments and those small bits of time you may have or large chunks of time that you may have at home to check out a book and read it. If you're needing help finding something that will fit you, talk to your literature teacher. I know they take great pride in finding the right book for each student. Okay, moving on. I want to talk about this one again, cell phones. We can have them at school, but they need to be in our lockers. They need to be locked up in our lockers. They're not to be used or seen or heard during the school day. 
and we can use them outside of the building before or after school. And if you should ever lose your cell phone, you can most certainly need to report that immediately to the main office. And we wanna reiterate that you need to have them put up, not hidden in a hoodie pocket, not hidden in our back pocket, not in our laptop bag, we need to have our cell phones put up. All right, moving on. Take a look here, can you name this song? Now we started this the other day, and yesterday's song was really, really an oldie but goodie. So let's see if you can figure out this one. The more that you say, the less I know, wherever you stray, I follow. Now, I don't know this one today, let me see. The more that you say, the less I know, wherever you stray, I follow. Can you name that song? Can you name that song? Think about that one. No idea on that one. Seventh and eighth grade girls volleyball tryouts, they're coming up. They're coming up. They're tomorrow. That's Thursday, January 28th. Seventh grade tryouts will be from 345 to 515, and eighth grade tryouts will be from 530 to 7. You've got to have a physical on file. And you must have transportation to and from the tryouts. And students, you must have passed four out of your six classes first semester to be eligible to try out. Now there's gonna be a sign out sheet and it's been out there. It's in the main lobby, right off the main office. And interested students should print their names on the list. Only students who sign up are gonna be eligible to try out. If you have any questions, you can see Miss Greco. Got some shout outs. We wanna give a shout out to Mrs. Chauvin. This one's coming from Riley. I chose her because she's a good literature teacher. She's very creative and very nice. She even makes great memes. Hmm, very good. All right, next up we've got Mrs. Weekly. This one's coming from Kamari. Mrs. Weekly is kind. Every time I come to her class, she has a smile on her face and it lights up my day. She always helps me when I need help. If she has something to do when I need help, she always will find a way to help me. Very nice, very nice. Next up, we've got a shout out from Mark, and this one goes out to Mrs. Zinnon. I'm gonna give, give a shout out to Mrs. Zinnon. She's a very nice teacher, and she always helps me if I have a missing assignment. Ah, very nice, Mark. Next up, we've got Eleonora sending one out to Mrs. Simpson. Mrs. Simpson was so understanding when I emailed her about cheerleading with questions, and then said I could join. Very nice there, Eleonora. Next up, we've got Gwendolyn giving a shout out to Mrs. Weekly. I wanna give a shout out to Mrs. Weekly because she is always smiling when I join the Zoom. It's important. She makes sure that we understand what we are learning and goes slow so we do not miss anything. I'm always looking forward for her class. Very nice, Gwen. And last but not least, Miss Mariotti, she's giving a shout out to her classes. She wants to give them a shout out to all her Group A classes on Tuesday. She only had three absent students, Way to go, Group A. She's very proud of you. And uh, very nice, Miss Mary, giving a shout out to your classes. All right, we've got a question of the day here. Scholastable question today. This one's technology. Let's see if our context clue, that picture will help us. All right, here we go. Sold by such companies as Simon Tech, AVG, and McAfee, what type of software prevents, detects, and removes computer viruses? Trojan horses and other forms of malware. Okay, so Simon Tech, AVG, and McAfee are these types of software that prevent, detect, and remove computer viruses. Think you know the answer? That one's coming up soon. Next up, can you figure out this play on words? Ooh, try, stand, line, two. Try next to stand. Ooh, I think I got it. I wonder if you do. I think you know the answer. That one will be coming up shortly. Word of the day is plenteous. Plenteous, affording an abundant supply. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. I think the word that helps me remember that one is the word plenty. And I'm wondering if I'm pronouncing it right. I'll have to look. Is it plenteous or plenteous? We'll get an update on that tomorrow. I think it is plenteous though. All right, P word. Next up on this day in history, January 27, 1945, Auschwitz is liberated. And students in US history class, I believe in eighth grade, will be studying the Holocaust. You'll be studying World War II. And I think you'll remember uh, some of these, these atrocities 
and you'll talk about some of these atrocities and Auschwitz being liberated was a gigantic and huge deal. Find out more about that in U.S. history, probably sometime into third quarter, fourth quarter. All right, next up, we've got our bad joke and pun. My friend Jack claims that he can communicate with vegetables. Jack and the beans talk. I'd say something to Jack if he had a good joke to tell. All right, moving on. Next up, we got birthdays. Happy birthday to Alexandria Beeler. Happy birthday to Elliot Sisk. And happy birthday to Micah Taylor. Happy birthday from us to you. Now on to the weather. Yeah, it's winter. It's January. We've had a little bit of precipitation, a little snow and ice, a little wintry mix. And it looks like we might get a little bit of that today. And it looks like we might heat up a little bit. That sun comes out on Thursday and Friday. And we like that. And as long as those roads are safe to travel for our buses and students, we want those cold days to subside. I want to remind, as we did yesterday, that if you're going to go outside at lunch, you need to make sure you have your coat, scarf, gloves, and cold weather gear. All right, moving on. Take a look here. The Scholastic Bull Answer, McAfee, AVG, Symantec, those are antivirus detection or virus detection or security. Yeah, those are things that you put on your computer to keep them clean. And next up, the Trivia Math Brain Teaser, that was try to understand. That was the word try to understand. All right. And as we prepare for a productive day, let us observe a moment of silence. Now let us rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, name that song. Name that song. The name of that song was Willow. <laughs> Didn't know it. I did not know it. The name of that song was Willow by Taylor Swift. And uh, we got a little video here that we could play. If you wanted to find that out, you could play that. Um, I was talking the lyrics. I had no idea what the name of the song was. Um, yesterday's song was the Mama and Papa's. And I believe it was all the leaves are brown and the all the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. Hmm. I wonder if somebody could send me the answer to that one. We didn't give the answer the other day. But today's name that song was Willow by Taylor Swift. All right, Franklin Middle School staff and students, we want everyone to have a fantastic day. And remember, it's all about choices. Read, write, respond at Franklin Middle School. It's our focus.